Quinn, you started up Plantiga to create a revolutionary Internet of Things based business. What is it all about? So really what we do is we sell motion analytics as a service. And we do that by way of a flexible footwear sensor insert that goes inside of a shoe. And we measure the way that you move, that you walk, that you run. Uh, in a way, we're providing lab-grade gate analytics uh, in a mobile setting. We take that data, we package it up, and we sell it as a service to professional sports teams, the U.S. military, and other organizations to help them uh, predict and prevent injury, to benchmark performance, and to quantify the return to play process or rehab. Now, why is it important to them? So organizations in general spend a ton of money on business intelligence. So in their stadiums, they're finding out which beer tap sells the most beer, which seats get filled up the most. They lack visibility and data on their probably most core asset, which is their athlete. So we are providing what we call human movement intelligence. So data on the actual asset that is the most important. Again, it drives decision making around how hard to push them, when to pull them back, when to pull them back because they might get injured. All of this kind of data is valuable. They just can't access it in a mobile setting. They have to go into performance labs to get that type well, of data. What's happening now is sort of the coach feels that, okay, this player has been... It's all got with the coaches. Yeah. So we, uh, we, one of our advisors is a guy named Gary Vitti who's been with the Lakers for 30 years. Um, a lot of what he said to us is we're just reinforcing his gut instinct, right? So he knows that a guy's asymmetry is sliding, which is leg to leg uh, compensation, but it's his gut. So we're just providing the data that kind of, so he can't always be around, right? So then you have software and intelligent systems that help with that. And why Plantiga? Why this product? So Plantiga, the name is is interesting. It comes from the word plantigrade, which means even pressure distribution on the ground. So you will focus exclusively long term on feet? Or yeah. So there... what we want to do is we want to be the world leader in foot ground interaction data. I think it's way more important instead of spreading ourselves thin, you could put sensors all over the body. We want to own gate analytics. In developing the business, you went through the Creative Destruction Lab. Yes. What was that experience like? CDL was amazing. So the program, it's over eight months. Every eight weeks you come, you set objectives with a group of mentors, you walk through them, and then you come back and you basically give an update on how you did. Uh, I thought the program was fantastic. And for us, it's funneled into investors and all sorts of uh, connections that we'll have forever. How do you think they could improve the program? One of the things that I felt is one of the best parts for me as a business was I wanted to build relationships with those mentors. So you have these meetings and they structure them like every 15 minutes. So it was really important. It's dense. Yeah, it's very <laughs> dense. And they knock on the door and they say, okay, you know, get out next meeting. I felt like that could have been longer for me and it would have allowed me to build more of a relationship with the mentors, which again is half the reason you're in the program is to build that human connection to make you a better businessman and build a better business. That makes a ton of sense. Yeah. How did you get the first couple of major league baseball teams to try out Quinn's, Plantiga, new company, new product, unproven? A little bit of serendipity, a little bit of luck, a little bit of hard work. So I was, I would call myself a hustler. I am very good at, you know, like with the Lakers, I threw a connection of a connection on LinkedIn. I met the strength and conditioning coach. That little process got us mentioned in an ESPN article, which then got a conference that asked me to sit on a panel of player performance monitoring in the audience where the Seattle Mariners, after the, my little conference, they came up to me, Quinn, what are you doing? Let's talk, sent them down some demos. You know, a couple months go on and then boom, they said, hey, look, we'd love to do a program, have you down to spring training, uh, and there we go. And once you have that customer on board, how do you grow that relationship and add more customers? So one of the things that we did is we're very lucky. We took on an early investor who was a data analyst for the NBA uh, and the NFL. So I would suggest that if you can find an investor who is actively engaged in your industry, that is, that is a huge bonus. So a lot of what we're doing is he is making introductions to a lot of pro teams in the NBA and, and the NFL, uh, MLS as well, European soccer. And through those... Uh, interactions we're getting by and that want to start paid programs as soon as we can and now a bottleneck for us is actually manufacturing and being able to service the customers but that's a good problem to have.